Hey everybody, um, before we start with the next set of letters, it's our last set actually, I wanted to introduce them to you. So these are called the sliding letters. I don't know if I mentioned this when we did lowercase k, well uppercase k too, you know how it kicks in and kicks out? Um, so that's a slide, it's a diagonal line, uh, kind of a corner to corner line, so diagonals can go this way or this way. But it's like being on a slide at the playground and sliding down. Um, the reason you have to slide is because if you started at the top and dropped, you could get hurt, right? You'd drop straight down. So a slide is important to keep you safe because the angle helps you go down more slowly. Um, so when you're making the sliding letters, be sure you think about having them be at an angle. That means they're sliding down or they might be sliding down the other way. And there actually will be some that you'll slide down and then you'll actually slide up, okay? Which would be impossible in real life. But um, there's several different things you'll do with these sliding letters. And besides the letter K, you know what's really weird? It's all the letters at the end of the alphabet. Once you get to the letter V, V, W, X, Y, Z, they're all the sliding letters. It's so weird that they're all together, but um, sliding letters are fun to make. Sometimes they're a little bit harder because we don't make them very often. For some reason, those that are at the end don't seem to be as common. So you really have to pay attention and work hard um, and I know you'll do a great job at it. So here's an introduction to those letters using what but slides. Okay, so the first sliding letter we're going to look at is V. You always start at the top of the slide, slide down, slide back up. The next one looks like two sets of Vs. So you're just going to slide down, slide back up, slide down, slide back up. Now, Y is a little bit different. It has a little slide, and you stop, and then you go back to the top of a longer slide, and then you're going to do a long slide down. So you always start at the top of the slides for these. Now, X is a little bit different, so we have two slides. There's a slide here, and then there's the, um, besides the yellow slide, there's a blue slide. So I'm just gonna trace those so you can see both of the slides. So these slides overlap. So you're going to start at the top of each slide and you're going to do the yellow slide first and then the blue slide. So I'll change to a red marker here. So I'm gonna start at the top of the yellow slide and I'm gonna slide down and then I'm going to stop and pick up my uh, pencil. So slide down now pick up your pencil and you would go to the top of the blue slide and you would slide down going the opposite way. All right, so that's a little bit tricky. Now, the last one is the trickiest. You do not start at the top of this slide. This is the letter Z. You're going to start way over to the left, um, kind of in those tree branches there and you're gonna aim for the top of the slide with a straight line. So you go straight across the top, then you slide down, you never pick up your pencil, and then you go straight across the ground, straight across the bottom. So that's probably the trickiest one because it has those two straight lines and that sliding line in the middle. So that's probably the one that we use the least also. So we get the least practice, but We'll uh, get there towards the end.